Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So today's video is about an interesting report out of the University of Minnesota with regard to COVID-19 and the use of metformin um, to reduce death risks. Now I know some people who, who comment on the channel either take metformin as part of a prescription regime or as does say with David Sinclair as part of an anti-aging regime. Uh, so I thought this would be relevant to the channel. Without further ado, let's jump into the presentation and look at what the study discovered. Researchers from the University of Minnesota Medical School and the United Health Group found that metformin was associated with significantly reduced COVID-19 death risks in women in one of the world's largest observational studies of COVID-19 patients. There are links in the description below to the study and to the articles I used to compile this presentation. Let's now talk about COVID-19 and diabetes. Severe COVID-19 outcomes for people with diabetes have been widely observed, including a greater risk of intensive care unit admission, intubation for ventilation, and unfortunately death. These outcomes could possibly be related to less effective glycemic or blood sugar control in these patients. Metformin is an established genetic medication for managing blood sugar levels, and this is in patients with type 2 diabetes. It also reduces inflammation proteins like TNFA that appear to make COVID-19 worse. Let's now look at the study details. So the team analyzed 6,256 individuals with type 2 diabetes or obesity who were hospitalized with COVID-19 and assessed whether or not the use of metformin was associated with decreased mortality. The investigators identified 2,333 people who had filed 90-day metformin prescriptions within 12 months of the COVID-19 diagnosis. These people had a mean age of 73. And 3,923 non-users of metformin. These had a median age of 76. They then assessed the association between home metformin use and the risk of in-hospital death from COVID-19. So what were the results? Well, the researchers found an association that women with diabetes or obesity who were hospitalized for COVID-19 and who had filed a 90-day metformin prescription before hospitalization had a 21 to 24% reduced likelihood of mortality compared to similar women who were not taking the medication. There was no significant reduction in mortality amongst men. Let's look at some statements made by the investigation team. First, from Dr. Caroline Bramanti, the principal investigator and assistant professor in the Department of Medicine at the University of Minnesota Medical School. She said, observational studies like this cannot be conclusive, but contribute to growing bodies of evidence. Seeing a bigger association with protection in women over men may point towards inflammation reduction as a key way that metformin reduces risk from COVID-19. However, more research is needed. She also said a large database covering different geographic areas is rarely available. We were fortunate to have the opportunity to do this research alongside the United Health Group. Let's now look at a second statement, this time by Dr. Deneen Voter. Executive Vice President of Enterprise Research and Development at the United Health Group. She said, while effective therapies to mitigate the harm of the SARS-CoV-2 virus are being developed, it is important that we also look to and evaluate commonly used medications with good safety profiles for their potential to combat the virus. Let's now look at a new drug application. Christopher Tignanelli, assistant professor in the Department of Surgery at the University of Minnesota Medical School and Caroline Bramanti together have submitted an investigational new drug application 
to the Food and Drug Administration for the use of metformin for COVID-19 treatment and prevention. The FDA have approved this application. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Um, I'll continue to do these shorter videos on topics that are uh, longevity or age related. Um, again, if there's any specific topic you'd like me to cover, then leave them in the comments below uh, and I'll see if I can dig out some information and produce a video on it. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy this very short presentation. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, as always, please take care. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.